excuse the greasy face but i've just had the smoothie airport exit ever hello welcome to the channel i'm winnie buoyancy if this is the first night you're watching a video of mine hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified every single time that i upload if you're an od and you've come back to watch this face of mine thank you so much for returning especially thank you so much for watching this video as well because i am known to do lot of content and for the past couple of weeks i have been saying that i'm giving this channel a bit of a revamp i'm a little bit over doing lock videos to be honest with you i'm not saying i'm gonna completely stop but what i am saying is i'm trying to incorporate more kind of travel and lifestyle videos to this channel because i'm a creative and you know in life what do we do we go forward we evolve and i want my content to evolve too so i really hope that you guys continue to you know rock with me as in the oldies continue to rock with me continue to show me love and support because i do appreciate each and all, every single one of y'all and if you're a newbie as well then hey you know i hope that you're gonna like my new content going forward as you can see by today's title your girl is going away today's the 26th of october it's a day before my birthday and i've booked myself a solo trip to spain for a week i'm going to ibiza ibiza it all depends on how you pronounce it personally i normally say ibiza but i know some people say ibiza so that's why i said that the reason why i decided to go to spain is because at this time of year i know that the weather is still relatively decent compared to the uk it's literally down the road it's a two hour and like 25 minute flight i believe also in the uk we had quite a few travel restrictions which have has now been severely reduced which i love to hear because i do like to travel and so great um well and so spain is on our quote unquote green list if you want to put it like that if you're fully vaccinated you can go to spain from the uk without having to do a pcr test and pay all that extra money i'm double vaccinated i've got my covid pass and i just wanted a smooth and cheap and cheerful trip i'm gonna take y'all with me on my journey to spain and god willing when i land in spain as well i'll also be showing you guys how my hotel looks I managed to check in okay fine however when going through security they did a random a liquid test which was really weird I thought they was gonna stop me because this is my first time flying with my drone but it wasn't that it was a random liquid search Finally about to board this flight. I'm really, really excited now. We're about to take off here and my plane is like hella empty. I love it when it's the open side. But I've just had the smoothest airport exit ever. Literally, as soon as I left the airport, my taxi man was waiting for me with a signboard. So I'm currently on the way to my hotel. Really excited now. Finally made it to my hotel. When I tell you lot, yeah. <laughs> 
the journey to get to this hotel has been very interesting to say the least because I got into my minivan we'll call it that and about less than five minutes into the journey the driver parked up on the motorway and was on the phone talking his language obviously I don't speak any Spanish apart from the very basics and after sitting in the minivan for about five minutes he then comes around to basically say that he's had an issue with his van and he's called for another taxi so I basically need to hop off and get on that taxi so there's a bit of traffic on the way here and then my taxis dropped me on the other side of the road and was like yeah you just need to go up that road so I've now got to outside my hotel but it doesn't look like your usual hotel. So I was very confused and I had to call. Luckily, because I'm still in the EU, I was able to use my phone to call and the woman basically came outside to get me. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. This is how the bathroom is looking like. So you got a cute sink there. Oh, wow, okay. So, place it looks cute but it looks quite small if i'm being honest with you anyway um and then i've got to say i'm not pleased about this as in i've never stayed at a hotel where there's no lock on the back of the door so i'm not impressed about that um literally it's like there's no lock on there and as a solo traveler i'm not gonna lie i'm not impressed by that whatsoever bedroom bed cute little mirror here oh god please bless me got a little kind of open wardrobe thing going on um i really love the fact that it's got this because to me it's really really important that a hotel has this although uh what's worrying me is normally a cold can just put into it i don't quite know how i'm gonna use that but i'm sure i'll figure it out in due time and then there's a little desk here very tiny tv here um i do like this room setup it's very nice simple clean but this is what I'm excited about. I really want to kind of ooh, see. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I was expecting like a massive kind of door. Right, okay. How do we open this? This balcony is exceptionally tiny. Like literally, <laughs> literally here are. And then like a little, okay, okay. I can't lie, I also thought that I would get a cute little sea view, not a, I don't even know what kind of view this is. Okay guys, I was literally about to have a meltdown when I noticed there was no towels in a bathroom, but then I realized these cute little folded up things here, oh, can't even see. Folded up cuties here are towels, thankfully. Okay, so I thought I'd sit down and basically, normally, if this is the first time that you're watching a travel vlog of mine, as soon as I get into my hotel room and I show you guys how my room looks like, I do like to sit down and have a little bit of a chat, like my first thoughts kind of thing. Right, so I'm staying at a hotel called Hostel Mayol. I will put the name on the screen because I'm probably butchering the name. I was very much aware that it is a two-star hotel. It cost me £286 for seven nights. I think I've had a little bit of like a shock being here, I can't lie. The fact that there's no lock on the back of my main door and there's no key for the safe my balcony the views are absolutely horrendous in my opinion like even if it wasn't going to be a sea view balcony a street view would have been better than what i just saw also there's meant to be free wi-fi i've had a look there is free wi-fi but it's just all a bit of a mess because i haven't been given a wi-fi password and also when i 
you know came in at the reception downstairs the woman was like oh you know check in tomorrow come with your passport and it's like well hang on a minute normally when i come to a hotel you check in the passport and everything you're given any kind of information that you require and none of that has happened on this occasion so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go downstairs to ask if there's a key for the safe and also ask for the wi-fi password which is normally just given out to you oh yeah i forgot to say that i booked this via booking.com as well just in case maybe somebody might be interested but at the moment i'm not really impressed i think i'm gonna be impressed with the location though because i did see that there was like water somehow so i know that this is by the beach which was my main reason for booking here and i know that it's like by all the shops and all of that which i could, could see when i was here so i'm gonna go downstairs see what happens and then i'm gonna come back with an update okay update guys i went downstairs to ask for the wi-fi password and it's been given to me and i also asked about the safe I've got the key for the safe, but it cost 17 euros. First impressions at the moment. I'm not gonna lie, I do actually like the room. I like, I like the inside of this hotel. I don't feel safe because there's no lock behind the door. I don't like my balcony view, so chances are I probably won't really be using it. However, I'm yet to check out the location. I'm hoping the location is going to wow me because so far, I can't lie, this hotel is not wowing me whatsoever. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will be vlogging as much as I possibly can on this trip too. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment and all of that good stuff. And until my next one, take care. Be good.